reaction have you been getting after that viral post? Uh, to be honest, I ain't even uh, I ain't even turned my phone on yesterday. I seen it uh, this morning when I got on my phone, and uh, same old, same old, kind of like last year. Kind of walk us through what happened there. Uh, I was just getting a release on the ball, and I uh, it was kind of a late, a late, late, you know, me for me for the you jump late like that, but uh, I kind of reacted late and made another crazy catch. George, Joey said that he had perfect form on that one. You Looking back, you think that that's just an un, kind of an unstoppable catch? Oh, uh, yeah, that was great coverage. I mean, that was uh, outstanding coverage. That was good technique. You know, it's just it's just like Michael Jordan and AI. Sometimes you got good D, better offense. <laughs> well, and speaking of that, how much better can you make Joey and Joey make you? Uh, it could be amazing because the more, th more times we come out here and games following up in the following weeks, it's going to be really good for, to see how he does against other guys. What have you seen from him so far, George? Uh, really just a guy that likes to compete. A lot of guys that uh, come in and shy away from it, you know what I mean? Uh, especially if they throw you in the fire and you're trying to learn plays or you're trying to compete at the same time. But he's for sure got that competitive. So. How much are you enjoying competing against each other? We see you guys, the two of you out there a lot going yeah. back and forth. For me personally, I enjoy it a lot, but it's like, uh, it's like my second year, so I'm kind of in my own head in terms of like me getting better. That's really like what I've been working on this year. Well, when you're Joey's covering. having as much fun, it looks like he you're getting kind of in his head and under his skin a little bit on some of those plays. Oh no, nah, we just be uh we just be competing, just having fun. Uh like I was saying, he's a guy that likes to compete, so I'm pretty sure he's it's not getting to him too bad. You seem to be all these guys that you know in your coverage you can still make plays. Yeah. Uh, do you encourage quarterbacks to throw it despite what the coverage may look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I encourage that a lot. That's like one of the biggest things I was saying last year that kind of frustrated me a lot because I'm new coming in, so I can't, you know what I mean? I, I can only show you, but yeah, like when I'm open, when I'm not open, I'm always open. Where, where would you rank yesterday's catch? I know it's only a you know, training camp catch, but where would you put it on your own personal list? Uh, I'll probably say 6'5". Probably number six, probably number five. I can't even imagine what the first five would look like. Yeah. You should look at my phone. <laughs> George, how would you compare the intensity level this early in camp to maybe a camp you experienced in college under Coach Smart? What's the differences between a Coach Smart camp and a Coach T camp? Um, a Coach T camp is more professionalism for sure. Uh, and the, the, the level of difficulty, I'll probably have to say UGA. Uh, just strictly off of uh, we're in pads every day. We're not in a, you know, we don't get any days off. Uh, you know, we're in a hotel. You know, it's a, it's a little different. It's hotter. It's in the south. So, yeah, I'll probably say those practices were, were way harder. How did how did practicing in an environment like that kind of shape you for this kind of environment? It made it really, really easy. Like, competing is nothing. Like, uh, we used to, like I said, we was hitting every day. So it felt like we were having a game every day. So uh, guys would be banged up. You got to go out there and still perform. So, yeah, competing at an all-time high. Seven shots, you seem to have a touchdown in the back. We were there watching that. He said you stepped on the line. Yeah. Did you think you did? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that was one of the things that was kind of surprising to me, but uh, I thought I scored too. Can you speak to the offense this year being more than, like, just go balls for you and, and kind of the playbook opening and yeah. particularly across the middle, George? Yeah, uh, I'll probably say that for sure across the middle. Uh, go balls is just like... It, it, it's it's kind of like that bad for me because it's so easy. If a go ball was hard for me, that you'd probably be saying, are you going to get more go balls? You see what I mean? But a go ball is so easy, man. It's a lot of chunk on a play, so it's almost like we might as well take it. But for me, out of this year, that I want you guys to see is me coming on drags, across the middle, like you said, uh, post. Hit way more posts this year, for sure. Uh, that's probably it. Yesterday, when coach. did those crazy catches that you have, when did those start to become routine for you? I mean, you almost sound a little bit bored by the crazy one that we saw yesterday that everybody's going crazy for. Yeah, uh, it came kind of routine when I was, I've been playing football since I was like four. So uh, it came routine when my brother hit high school, I was in middle school, I started catching with uh, the high school balls. And my hands, you know, I'm in middle, I got premature hands. So like, <laughs> that kind of really helped my catching a lot. Yesterday, <laughs> Coach Tomlin. Yesterday, Coach Tomlin put Darnell against TJ in backs on backers, and Darnell held held his own. How surprised were you, and how oh, pleased were you with that? Yeah, um, pleased. I was pleased a lot. I wasn't surprised at all. <laughs> I wasn't surprised at all. Uh, that's kind of what Darnell does. Like, you got to think Darnell was at Georgia with the whole Philadelphia Eagles D line. <laughs> so yeah. George, on that go ball where they called you passing your feelings with pet feet, um, it looked like. The safety was unsure that once Kenny saw that he was coming, he was going to you. Is that like a maturation process of uh, Kenny trying to throw the ball deep once he reads what that safety is going to do? Yeah, that's like a perfect example of, 
a good read you watch. You see what I mean? That's what I meant by like reading stuff clear, uh, composure instead of, you know, you know, some quarterbacks around the league, they'll just throw it out of bounds and second down. But uh, like you said, you seen you seen them kind of throw the back shoulder, kind of adjust the throw to me and I'll adjust to the ball. So yeah. George, what's it been like getting to know Allen Robinson and being able to pick his brain and work with him? Oh, it's been good a lot. Uh, Allen Robinson is a guy that's very technical, so and he's working at the slot, so uh, he's really a guy that you can learn a lot from in, in terms of leverage. Leverage a guy, he's a leverage guy for sure. Did anyone from any other NFL team reach out to you about that video? Uh, nah, actually, nah. Nobody else. I know they probably seen it, but uh, nobody else really reached out to me from another team. Uh, there's a few assistants and coaches here that came from other organizations that was. Oh yeah, man, yeah. That, that recruited me in the draft process, and that's about it. How's Deontay been with you? He's been super good. Uh, Deontay's been kind of the same guy. He's kind—he's of, so mellow that it's literally the same every time you see him.